Hey everybody, it's Cherry here and welcome back to Hitman 3 for another crack at what is probably the most difficult challenge I have ever done. Once again, there's going to be none of this and none of this and <laughs> most definitely none of this either because we're back for another episode of Cheru Plays Hitman 3 The Way It's Meant To Be Played. And our journey today brings us to the beautiful land of Dubai, where we're not going to be playing on the beta male difficulty of casual or on professional, although I am one. Oh no, today once again, we're playing on master. Today's video is also sponsored by the delightful folks at Noah's Heart, but more on that shortly because right now I'm busy contemplating life and how pointless it all is. What, you trying to tell me you don't also come and stand on the scaffolding outside of a thousand meter building to come and think about life? Well, I mean, I'm obviously not the only one. Mr. DO2 did it, and so did Mrs. W slash I. Or is that H slash B? Either way, I'm pretty sure they're both dead now. Not me though. I was made for this crap, quite literally. Inside of a test tube. In some creepy guy's bathtub. <laughs> in his basement. Anyway, I better hop down here and get to it. We need absolute focus on this one. Also, I have no idea why Diana sounds extra manly today, but I like it. Now, with so many articles of clothing hanging up here in the coat room, which one do I pick? And do I drink the entire bottle of tomato sauce? All right, I'm ready. Here we go. So what if I put on a couple of pounds? Don't judge me. I am still pretty lean, though. I mean, look at those veins in my temple. They're, <laughs> they're the veins of someone with, like, sub 7% body fat. Hello, I'm actually ripped. I think you were coming on a little too strong, mister. I am not coming on anything. Also, I'm curious, what's in these bottles of water? Let me just get it. Oh, sorry. I just, <laughs> I just ripped out a crossbow and she didn't notice. Wow, you're, you're very focused on whatever it is you're looking at. I respect that. You're exactly what I look for in a woman. You want to be my girlfriend? I think we, uh, we look pretty good together. You don't find this awkward? I do. I, <laughs> I do. I really do. I do. Do you? I hope you do too. Anyway, yeah, I was kind of wondering what's in this water. Let's just zoom in. All right, so we got... Wow, that's <laughs> that's a lot of calories for a bottle of water. So this water is absolutely packed with salt. <laughs> it's got tons of sugar. It's also got fat in it and, uh, you know, trace amounts of protein. 100% wet, but not 100% water. Welcome to the Scepter pamphlet. Yeah, I'll take that. Join us for the inauguration of the Burj Al Ghazali. Visit the various bars, exhibits, and relaxation areas, and most importantly, enjoy yourselves. Well, I mean, I'll do my best at walking around and not looking like a homicidal maniac. You know, I gotta say, there are some interesting groups of people here. I mean, let's take this one, for example. We've got two ladies who are obviously identical twins, and then their triplet is <laughs> over here at this table. So there's like three of them. And uh, yeah, okay. I guess I'm not the only clone here. Now, using my hitman senses, we can see that one of my targets is right here and the other one is all the way at the top of the Burj Al Ghazali right there. They're both honestly horrendous chaps. One of them called Carl Ingram and the other one called Marcus Stuyvesant. The world would truly be better off without both of them, which is why today they're going to die. <laughs> it looks like she might as well. Oh no. <laughs> Not you too. All right, well, looks like I've gone and broken the game again. So how's about this? While I go and fix it, you can, if you don't mind, of course, watch this brief promo video that I made about a new game that's coming out soon. Noah's Heart is an upcoming open world MMORPG for both Android and iOS, as well as Microsoft Windows for PC. The game, as per the title, takes place on a planet called Noah, an enormous open world full of wonder and adventure just waiting to be explored. It consists of various different biomes, all individual and uniquely crafted with exotic flora and fauna specific to each biome just waiting to be killed by you. One of the neatest things about Noah's Heart is that despite the game's world being so huge, every area is seamlessly stitched together to give the player the smoothest, most immersive gaming experience possible. Traversing a planet so large on foot would probably take a tremendous amount of time, but fortunately, there are other ways to travel too, like on horseback or via grappling hook, and whilst I haven't seen them yet, the developers swear that you can also use jetpacks, trains, boats, and other things too, which is pretty exciting if you're a lazy bug like me and feel like walking to the kitchen is almost enough to make you give up on life. Noah's Heart also has some loose ties to historical figures from the real world that you're able to summon and obtain the powers of to use in combat. 
Who are these people, you ask? Well, nobody too important, just a fairly unheard of chap by the name of Einstein, another bloke called Darwin, and a troubadour notorious for shaking his spear all over the place every time he got a little bit too drunk down at the local pub. You're also able to fully customize your own character to give them the perfect body and face that you wish you had in real life, but don't. And you're not bound to any particular class either. You can switch it up and choose between any of the four weapons available at any time, constantly keeping the way you kill stuff exciting and fun, because who doesn't love killing stuff? Noah's Heart will officially release on the 28th of July, but pre-registration is now open on the Google Play Store, the Apple Store, and for PC via the official website. Regardless of which platform you choose to play on, your account is 100% cross-playable, meaning you can pick up and resume from where you left off on any device you like. Register now for a bunch of rewards that you'll get when the game launches to kickstart your adventure of killing stuff so you can become more experienced at killing stuff and then kill more stuff. Now, back to the video. Now, as you may have already guessed, this is a kill nobody challenge. Well, I mean, nobody except the targets. The catch is, though, that even their deaths need to be made to look like an accident. Just like me binging on Hagen dazs and putting on 60 pounds since the last video. So, what I want to do first is sneak past everybody and get myself a security guard outfit. Uh-oh. Security camera, which could actually be problematic because today I did not bring a gun. The cheeky cheeky toys that I brought today to help me get the job done include the serpent's tongue, a packet of bubble queen bubble gum, and a modern sedative syringe. Ah yes, toilet. This is exactly what I'm looking for. What's up everybody? Uh, oh, hold on. No, no, hold on. I didn't think that through very... <laughs> Very well. Yeah, that probably wasn't necessary. I mean, I don't need to go and punch people in the face for... Oh, the door's locked. I was gonna say I don't need to go and punch people in the face for no reason, but... I'm not... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I'm sorry. I'm not really. Why did I do that? I guess I'll never know. Oh, wait, hold on. I just remembered that there's a cheeky cheeky toy over here in this toilet that Diana left for me to help me get the job done. Cheeky cheeky toy. Diana left me in the toilet to... <laughs> To help me get the job done. Hold on, wait, what? <laughs> I've also just realized how the back of my head looks like it's melting. Ah, yes, the Karma 2 Tranquilizer. That will certainly help me get the job done. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a little bit constipated. So what I'm going to do is sneak past all of these people right here, up this staircase, and then very stealthily, I'm going to slip into the back room right here. Slip past this guy. Oh, frick. Nothing caught on camera. That just will not do. Yes, I'm gonna need to disable it. I'm gonna crack out this screwdriver and I'm going to lob it over there and wait for these guys to check it out. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be a little bit hard to sabotage that security system, but that won't stop me from stealing the security key. Then I'll sneak back through here and I'll just hop down in the elevator shaft. Oh, frick. Okay, well, I'd totally like to pull you down the elevator shaft right now, but this is a kill nobody challenge. So I'm just gonna hop onto this pole again, something that I have zero experience with prior. <laughs> You gotta believe me. Fortunately, though, it looks like it's now afforded me the ability to hop right through this open elev- Ooh. I guess I'll just borrow this hammer. Then I'll turn on the vacuum cleaner and I'll hide behind these boxes. Uh, lady, you- You're not the one that's meant to come down here. Excuse me. Oh, she's not dead, though. <laughs> She's definitely, probably, maybe not dead, though. I guess that's just hitman logic, isn't it? Throws hammer at the back of someone's head. <laughs> no worries. They're perfectly fine. See, look. He's fine. Might be a little bit... <laughs> he closed his eyes when I took his clothes off. <laughs> I don't know what you think's about to happen, buddy, but it's not happening. So now after going through the laborious, difficult task of taking off my trouser pants and putting on this, guys, it seems like I've managed to shed those additional <laughs> kilos that I put on from the... <laughs> Excuse me, Barack Obama, stop staring at me. Anyway, as I was saying, look at those masculine cheekbones and that rugged jawline. Reservations at the Burj Al Ghazali just went up by 500%. You got a hairy back, bro. Why don't you just like rip some of it off and <laughs> glue it to your head? Anyway, I hate to do this to you guys, but uh, I'm gonna need your outfit, so hold on. Don't worry, mate, we'll just chuck you in here, and if you're lucky, they might mistake you for a rug and give you a good old... <laughs> Get all scrubbing. All right, well, that was pretty pointless, but I guess I'm gonna grab the blueberry muffins while I'm here because this is a kill nobody challenge after all, and whoever killed anybody with a blueberry... Hold on. Pretty sure I've done that numerous times. Actually, you know what? I feel like Barack Obama might be the guy that I've been looking for. So how about, you know, I just move the wet floor sign. It's perfectly okay. It's not that wet anyway. <laughs> 
I don't know why that's so funny. So now I've got myself a security guard outfit and I've got myself the transfer papers necessary to become Marcus Stuyvesant's new bodyguard. To make a really good first impression, I think I'll rock up <laughs> with a fire axe. Hey guys, I'm the new security guard. Oh, Barack Obama, <laughs> you're here too. How should I address him? It's classified. So you don't call him anything. How about d Can I call him d Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. Yeah, it is. Just don't ask me what I did there. Well, I'll just put this here so your security guard can see it when he turns around. Hey. Hey, idiot. Hey, idiot. Nobody cares about that, huh? I'll just pick all of these up, and I guess I'll kill these boxes, but they don't really count, right? Look, I dropped my screwdriver. Do you think you could pick it up for me? These pants are really tight, and I'm afraid I might split them if I bend over. Oh, no, I dropped my bubble gum. Could you also pick that up too, please? Please fall forward. Fall forward. Fall forward. Come on. Come on. Swift breeze. Oh, <laughs> dang it, Marcus. <laughs> Why do they never fall forward? Bye. Oh, hey, look, a helicopter key. That'll be perfect for my getaway. Yeah, you just keep on polishing that helicopter real good. Too close, man. Too close. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Now, fortunately, I'm an intelligent man that likes to think ahead. So about a year ago, I knocked down this ladder in preparation for this video. Oh, look, somebody left a car battery at the top of this building. How convenient. Catch. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. If I really want to make this look like an accident, and there's probably no better way to do it than to sabotage his parachute and just make him kill himself. Off they go. Now, I don't have a knife, but I do have a screwdriver. Okay, apparently I just have a knife, even though I'm pretty sh Oh, no, I do. <laughs> I do have a knife. I have two of them. Okay, cool. Anyway, that's done. And uh, now all I need to do is create enough of a ruckus to make him want to evacuate the building. And I'm pretty sure that if I had the security key card, I could do it with this. Actually, hold on just a minute. This security room right here has a safe in it. And if I remember correctly, there's a key card in that safe. And if I remember correctly, this idiot talks about the code to the safe, doesn't he? Still in the safe in the security room. Okay, say more. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two. Seven. Okay, thanks, dumbass. That looks like a parachute keycard. <laughs> oh, awesome. Now, while I'm here, I'll definitely steal this guy's banana. Forgive me. I know not what I do. Banana. <laughs> Employees only beyond this point. Well, that means me now. Swipeity swipe. And then one swipe right here. Another swipe right here. And bada bing, bada bomb. I think I just triggered the, uh, you know, emergency. Everyone's freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, oh no, it's the end of the world. This probably isn't the same way that he's coming down, but you know, I'll, I'll make it work. I'll just slide down this pole and then I'll hop over this ledge and yep, here he comes. Come on, Commander Shepard, the Normandy awaits you. Oh crap, everyone knows I'm sus. Give him all you've got! Don't give me anything, please. Just let the dude jump off the side of the building like a normal human being. <laughs> what an idiot. There he goes, look at him. Oh, oh hold on, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, oh, wow. <laughs> what the actual, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine that on the news? You know, I, I think I'll take this opportunity to just slip out this door, seeing as everyone's on the floor above me. Reveal yourself. No, I will not reveal myself. Not for free anyway. All right, so now we're back down here and uh, nobody down here knows I'm sus at least, but uh, there's still the issue of the security camera and all of that data. Actually... An axe over in that corner and the light switch over here. You go for that. You go for the light switch. I'll go for this. Bleep, 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 bleep. Evidence deleted. See you later, Dubai. It's been real. Real freaking proper. Because as you can see here, I played the game properly. I'm a skillful ICA assassin who's only deserving of two stars. But if you have a look right here, non-target kill penalty, zero. Kill nobody challenge success success succeeded Su success. Oh man. <laughs> Kill me now.